So thanks to everyone. I just did a live stream right now and we're gonna talk about the miter saw. But thanks to everyone for tuning in and all the questions, I really appreciate it. I'm gonna to try to do live stream Q and A's uh, from time to time. So just be on the lookout for those. And we haven't posted in a while because we just haven't had the chance to. But today I'm gonna to talk about something that I probably get the most comments and hateful things and trolls and some rightfully I understand. You know, people are concerned with my safety and I'm teaching other people how to do things. So I'll tell you the story of my blade guard. This is my saw right here. This is my, the heart and soul of everything I do is this tool right here. I um, mean, we need all the tools. We need the nail guns, compressors, hoses, all that. But it all starts with this because this miter saw, this is a 780 DeWalt model 780 and it's a dual bevel um, sliding compound miter saw and i've had it for five years and it's definitely seen better days but it works just as good as the first day i ever got it everything that's wrong with it so to speak is cosmetic it's just you know it's got some paint on it here um it's got some glue on it in some places it's just beat up all over the top because when I slide it into this truck, I throw stuff in here as I'm, you know, a long, long day of working, I'll throw stuff in the, the back of the truck and it just, this thing takes a beating. But one thing I've always said from the beginning is that these tools work for me. I don't work for them. I, I respect the tool and I care about it to not purposely damage it, but if you go, if you come to Texas and you meet me and go through my stuff, you'd probably be like, dang, he's got some rugged freaking tools because I just use them and I take this thing out of the truck almost daily. Now, the story of the blade guard, so that's, that's the intro. That's why this thing looks so beat up is because I use it. So the blade guard, I was changing my blade. This was before... I was smart enough to switch to the Red Diablos, which I'm just in love with now. So thanks to everyone who pointed those out. It was a no-brainer. I've seen everybody with them, but I was just sticking to DeWalt. I don't know why. I was just using DeWalt blades. But the Diablos are now on my circular saws. They're on my table saw, and they're going to be on everything from now on. Um, so I was changing my blade one day. So to change the blade on this saw, you know, I took the, the blade guard off and I set it to the side and then I took the blade off and the old blade and I put the new blade back on. And then I stepped and looked at it and it looked kind of scary. And I was like, dang, that's kind of scary looking. But I always knew when I would cut things, like I would, you know, grab a piece of trim, hold it in place. I would always notice I would grab this with my thumb and lift it to look for my line more clearly which is you know something i just developed and i'd even do it with this side if i was cutting with this hand i would just have my hand right there roll it up grab the the trigger right there and i was thinking i'm always doing that anyways i'm gonna take i'm not gonna put this back on or i'm gonna at least try it for a week now i know how dangerous it is you know it's it's very dangerous because as you come down you can see how the guard just shrouds the blade the whole way time the whole way down and it keeps all this covered and on your way up all this part of the blade that would normally be exposed is covered by that blade guard all the way up so it's a smart obviously thing to do so I took it off and I knew I wouldn't have to do that anymore so long story short I was like, I think I need to put it back on, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I think I threw it away on accident somehow in the garage that, you know, I put all my tools in. I just couldn't find it anymore. Whether someone else threw it away or I threw it away, it just wasn't there. So I was like, well, it looks like going to Home Depot to get a blade guard. So I go to Home Depot, no blade guards. Go on Amazon, no blade guards. Then it's like, where do I get one? I got to go to the DeWalt factory store. So I put that off, even though there's one like 30 minutes from where I live, I just put it off for like a year. And all those videos up until this point, I haven't had the blade guard on. 
and so many people have said such hateful things and you know I get it you know I understand how if I'm teaching people I should be safe but at the same time I'm not responsible for what anybody else does you know this is my own personal choice and basically I'm the only one who uses this saw so if I get hurt using it then I have no one to blame but myself if somebody else got hurt using it then they could blame me because I didn't have the proper equipment for them if I was making them use this so that's the story of my blade guard many people have wondered I've been reluctant to answer because really the comments are really hateful I even had one guy tell me because the blades exposed he said I hope you trip and fall and cut your face on that blade guard it's like dang dude you know I got kids and stuff you want me to cut my face open it's just like but YouTube's like that you know you, you if you start a YouTube channel you get over that real quick people just hate you whether it's because they really hate you or they're just envious or I don't know but that's YouTube and that's what we deal with um, with trolls but understandably other comments were saying you know why don't you have a blade guard on that isn't safe well that's why so the blade guard is back on I don't intend to ever take it off again except for to change blades and I don't recommend that you not use one um, I never have I just this what I did this is my little journey with the DeWalt blade guard and I put this on last week I went into De the DeWalt factory store and ordered one it came in a few days later and it's good to go so this this miter saw I can't say enough good things about it I tried the rigid tried Milwaukee I like that one too but uh, this is just all I've ever known it's a nice fine-tuned machine and you know it's the it's the heart and soul of what I do is this miter saw and it, even though it's seen better days it just cuts as true as ever I can cut two miters right now and it'll just be perfect. It springs up, has a good spring to it, and that's probably the only time I would discontinue use of a miter saw. Is you know, my dad had one, I think it was a Delta. That thing was scary. You would go to make a cut and you know, I'm used to it now, it's probably not a good thing, but I'm used to, you know, let's say I make a cut and I'd let the the you know the arm of the saw go and I go and grab my piece because you know I'm working quick and I take my piece inside or whatever I'm doing well the one my dad had the spring actually was going out on it the spring that makes it spring back up and you would cut something and it would just be like and fall back down and if your hand was there that's not going to be good so yeah that's the story on the blade guard that's the story on my miter saw, and this is the miter saw I use every day. Hopefully you enjoyed my little rant on this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Take care. I'll see you all next time. There's one. Oh! What? No! Crap! <laughs> My freaking foot, come, dude! Come this way, come this way! Oh! Right here, dude! <laughs> Dude! Oh, that's a monster!